This broadcast is brought to you in part by The Coffee Market on West Celtis and Coeur d'Alene, selling all your coffee and bar supplies retail and wholesale. Fair. Accurate. To the point. Here's news anchor John Webb. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm John Webb. A 57-year-old father and 21-year-old son are now in jail after they allegedly stole a car in Spokane. The Idaho State Police stopped the Chrysler Sebring near milepost 424 on US-95. Father Robert Lawson and son Jonathan Lawson were arrested just past 1130 on November the 9th. The car was originally reported stolen on November 6th. The owner of the car said he was inside a Spokane gas station when the two men allegedly hopped in the car and drove off. Police say they found drug paraphernalia and a syringe with what's believed to be heroin inside. Robert is being held on a $20,000 bond, while his father's bail is set at $30,000. Residents in Bonner County will be the only residents the DMV provides services to. The new policy comes after an influx of neighboring residents utilize the Bonner DMV office. This move is similar to what Benoit County did in early November. The restrictions will remain in effect until further notice. Daniel Moore is set to begin his 10-day trial on April 12th of next year. Moore is accused of shooting and killing Brian Drake in downtown Bonners Ferry on March 2nd of this year. Moore pleaded not guilty to second-degree murder earlier this year and told the Bonner County Daily Bee that he is innocent of all charges. We'll, of course, keep you posted on this case as it develops. Some Shoshone County residents are still without Internet as Zipply Fiber continues to fix a hardware issue. Last Thursday, about 169 residents and businesses reported the Internet outage and crews repaired service to some customers within a couple hours. Right now, workers are repairing what they call a key piece of hardware. A spokesman for Zipply told us they plan to have service restored to all customers by tomorrow. Two Oregon County residents are encouraging their legislators to move their counties into the state of Idaho. Oregon Public Broadcasting reports the chances of Jefferson and Union counties joining Idaho are slim as it would require votes by both Oregon and Idaho state legislatures. Resident Mike McCarter's vision is to have 22 of Oregon's 36 counties become part of a new Greater Idaho, along with some parts of Northern California. He says that would allow Oregon state leaders to focus on the problems facing urban communities. And finally tonight, Lookout Pass opened this past weekend. So far, they've got about 28 inches of snow at the summit and about 19 below. Lookout was also open today and plans to reopen this Friday. That's it for us tonight. We hope you join us tomorrow night right back here at 7 o'clock. Have a great night, everybody.